If you wanted to know what a vacuum cleaner sounds like in the middle of a YouTube uh, battery review, well, there you go. Thank you. Thank you for your commitment to letting nothing get in your way while cleaning, including recording a YouTube video. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. What we got here is a big 200 amp hour with a 200 amp BMS. It's the 200 amp hour plus edition of the Time USB battery. Let's get this out of the box and check it out. There's a note, post bolts are in the top foam. Now, in case you couldn't see this here in the top foam, now you know. <laughs> All right, we got a nice manual here in the zip pouch. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. Post bolts here, a nice big sticker. Never afraid you're going to lose these post bolts, apparently. Nice, thick, uh, form-fitting foam piece here rather than just basic styrofoam. That's nice. And this is a big boy. Let's get this out of the box. I'm going to quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell to get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. All right, 12.8 volt plus 200 amp hour battery. And that is what the plus means, that it's, it's a 200 amp BMS. And we'll go over why that's important and why you really want that in a 200 amp hour battery here in a minute. And so time to explore. You got your little character guy on here. He's really cute. Your email address uh, and the website address. You've got a serial number here on the top. And a sticker here. Yeah, there's a sticker. And then on the back side, LiPo 4, same information. Your certifications and don't light it on fire, throw it in the trash, recycle, all that sort of thing. Got nice uh, safety caps protecting the things. It's got the, uh, I'm not sure we'll have those are mounted in there. Rope handles. All right, let's go ahead and see what comes in this manual and this little bundle of stuff here. You got your uh, product manual. Nice little, uh, zip pouch here that everything comes in uh, a bunch of stickers which is actually really cool that's kind of an old-fashioned uh, way of doing business I like that I actually have a sticker collection inside of my cabinet that I put out the stickers for everything I get in there uh, this is the most interesting uh, setup I've seen here it looks like a comic strip uh, read the manual, it let you know it ships at 30 to 50 percent capacity, and now uh, what not. All right, we got our project manual here, uh, 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour plus. What it comes with here, the battery, the bolts, general information. A very interesting manual, it reads like a comic book. That are going with the theme of this little guy here. Contact information, screw in your bolts. It's a very detailed manual here that goes over a lot more than just a manual, really. 
Again, uh, nominal capacity, usable capacity, 200 amp hours. Nominal voltage, 12.8 volts. 14.4 charge rate, plus or minus 0.2 volts. Recommended charge current, 40 amp, which is a 2C charge. Uh, you can do a 400 amp discharge for 5 seconds. Max continuous load power, 2560 watts. ABS plastic case. The dimensions are 21 by 8.2 by 8.5 inches. The temperature range. This does not have low temperature protection. So it's negative 20 degrees. Discharge, negative 10 for storage. Uh, before using charging methods, testing the voltage, battery charging logic with the curved diagram. Like this. You could really learn a lot. So one of the best manuals I've seen of any battery that I've got so far. It really has a lot of information in here. Uh, recommended 600 watts of solar. Probably a pretty good choice, I would say. Uh, recommended charging current is 40 amps which is a 2C charge, or 100 amps, which is a 0.5C charge. Uh, how to hook it to the a generator, same thing. Uh, between 4.2 and 4.6 volts. The, this is never accurate. This battery capacity is just a guess on a lithium battery. Uh, here's how you get in series and in parallel. Uh, it gets very, very detailed with all of this, too, and how to do that. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the level of detail on how to connect series and parallel all the way up to the maximum. We have several pages here of how to do that. It's pretty cool. A little place where you can take some notes for yourself. Uh, what to do if it stops working. Sometimes you, they cut off and you have to charge them for a second to get it uh, hooked into another battery. Things like that. Uh, how to hook up a inverter, battery disposal, uh, you know, you need to take special precautions when you need to dispose of a lithium uh, battery. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, a really cool manual. All right, let's go ahead and get this charged up. I'm going to do it a little different this time. I'm going to go ahead and use, I have a, a separate charge controller and a 200 watt panel outside. And we're going to go ahead and get this started with some solar charging uh, to get it charged up save us a little bit of electricity while we're at it so let me get that hooked up and we'll be right back all right so we have the bolts here and it is two bolts and these are the kind that are they're fixed on there I like those kind better so you don't lose the washers but they have a couple of extra washers here just in case and the protective caps Go ahead and get those on here. What's nice here too is these uh, these lugs look a little bit longer than some of the other ones that I've got. Let's see if I can compare that. Here's here's the normal size that you that they come with, and then here's the one that this came with. So it's a little bit taller, so you can get a couple lugs under this battery, which is great, especially that it's a 200 amp hour. Uh, or 200 amp BMS, you can run a lot more power through this with that 200 amp BMS. All right, so 13.16 volts is how it's delivered. Ignore this here, I don't have this changed. Because we're just going to hook this up temporarily to this, uh, my solar panel, or my charge controller here. I have that one there, and then I'm hooking this other side on the other side of the shunt. So we can see the voltage coming in here. We're pulling in 9.91, 9.92 amps. And uh, we'll let that run and uh, charge this battery up. And then we'll get back to it and we will do a full capacity test and make sure that we're getting our 200 amp hours out of this battery. We'll go over the manual. Then we'll do the capacity test. And make sure we're getting our full 200 uh, amp hours out of this battery as soon as this gets fully charged up. 
Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to get it fully charged up today with solar, but I'm going to go ahead and do that since I have a solar panel that's being unused right now. I have sort of a floating uh, panel that I use to just charge up random devices using uh, stuff like this here. All right, so we got this completely charged up here. Let's go ahead and disconnect this charger. Yeah, and that's the beauty I love about this is this uh, Anderson connector makes it so convenient and easy to use. Unplug this here. And as usual, we're going to take the power from this and put it into my Mango Power E power station over here to conserve the power, and then I can use the power back for the Mango to recharge this whenever I'm done. We do lose, obviously, some... Uh, quite a bit actually uh, converting from AC to DC and back and forth you lose about 35 40 percent but at least it's something and rather than just burning it off it's too hot to be running heaters and things like that and we'll go ahead and pull up the app here and get this capacity test started All right, so this completely passed the test with our 200 amp hours, and we were still sitting at 12.33 uh, volts. So I decided to go ahead and add another couple of amp hours to the uh, test, and let's go ahead and see what happens now. All right, this thing was still going after the two amp hours and I forgot about it and walked away and it still ran for five minutes untested so I decided to add one more amp hour and see what happens let's see what happens All right, I'm going to call that this test done here. There's at least 103 amp hours, probably more like 105, because like I said, I walked away for at least five minutes with it uh, not really registering on the meter because I had walked away from it. So at minimum of 103 amp hours, that is a excessively passing the test, and I am very impressed with the results of that. So my final thoughts on this battery is I think it's a really good deal. Uh, for what you're getting um, at the current time I think it's $499 my only wish is that it had cold temperature protection but uh, it's priced right for not having that uh, the the cells are obviously great it's a nice looking battery uh, and being the plus model with the 200 amp BMS I would definitely go with uh, at least a 200 amp BM, uh BMS for a 200 amp hour battery that way you can really pull a load and uh, if you wanted to know what a vacuum cleaner sounds like in the middle of a YouTube uh, battery review well there you go thank you thank you for your commitment to letting nothing get in your way while cleaning, including recording a YouTube video. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. All right, if you like this video, I'll put a playlist right here where you can go check out some of my other uh, battery review videos. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.